our whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 million years ago expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Greetings. I brought Amy here to show her some of the work I'm doing. It's impressive that you had a book. Do I detect a hint of condescension? I'm sorry. Am I being too subtle? I mean, compared to the real world applications of neurobiology, theoretical physics is, hmm, cute. Oh. <laughs> Are you suggesting the work of a neurobiologist like Babinski could ever rise to the significance of a physicist like Clark Maxwell or Dirac? I'm stating it outright. Babinski eats Dirac for breakfast and defecates Clark Maxwell. You take that back. Absolutely not. My colleagues and I are mapping out the technological substrate that observes global information processing, which is required for all cognitive raising, including scientific inquiry, making my research, if so facto, prior into the order condescendi. That's better than his research, and by extension of yours, of course. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to work on that defecating Clark Maxwell. <laughs> Yeah, excuse me, but a grand unified theory, insofar as it explains everything, will ipso facto explain neurobiology. Yes, but if I'm successful, I can map out and reproduce your thought processes in deriving a grand unified theory and therefore subsume your conclusions under my paradigm. That's the rankest psychologism. It will conclusively be revealed as hogwash by Gottlob Frege in the 1890s. We appear to reach an impasse. I agree. I move our relationship terminate immediately. Second. There being no objections? No, no. The motion carries. Good day, Amy Farrah Fowler. Good day, Sheldon Cooper. Women, huh? Can't live with them. Can't successfully refute their hypothesis. Amen to that. Only. No yolks, they're bad for you. But the yellow part is the baby bird. <laughs> That's the part I want to eat. Sorry, too much cholesterol. Which also means no bacon. Just good old heart healthy ham. Mmm. <laughs> bacon. So good. So much better than ham. And for you, my famous chocolate chip caramel whipped cream pancakes. Mom, you're not gonna bribe me into staying home from school with super sweet breakfast foods. Where are my sprinkles? No, no, the pancakes are an apology. I overreacted before, of course you have to go to school. So that's it? No go? That's right. Well, what a nice warm family moment. Let's celebrate with some bacon. Mmm. <laughs> bacon. It's here, it's here. I can't believe it's here, it's here. So it's here? Yes. What is it? <laughs> this. You bought a big rag? It's a shampoo. That thing they saw on TV at three in the morning? This thing can sop up 30 times its weight in liquid. What's that? Grape juice. No, 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 no. <laughs> Man. Worried about this mess? No, I was thirsty. Don't fret. This will solve that juice faster than you can say shampoo. Shampoo. <laughs> say it slower. Shampoo. Ha! And the mess is gone. I think you're gone. Hey, can I borrow your helmet? What for? Griffin's gonna take me for a ride on his brother's motorcycle. Yeah. No, he's not. No, no. Don't be such a lady.
You're not going on the back of a motorcycle with your delinquent boyfriend. Just play with your rag. Shep how? <laughs> This class? Yes. I, I believe it starts in five... Minutes. Right. Five minutes from now. Usually I'm about ten minutes early, so I'm already feeling a little behind. This class is for five to eight-year-olds. Yes. Yes, it is. That's what I call, um... Discrimination. Discrimination? Yes, and ageism. Who are you? I'm his lawyer. Right. You brought a lawyer? I keep a lawyer on Tanner at all times. There is so much injustice in this world that you practically can't leave home without one. And apparently today it paid off. Right, okay, well I will see you in court then. Perfect, now I'm gonna need a statement so I can sue in both civil and criminal court. I would also like to use your phone to call the police. Can I use this one or is it for the white people? Who said anything about white people? You just did. The words white people never came out of my mouth. There they go again. Good thing I had my hand on the recorder. I'd like to disclose that this conversation is being recorded. Recorded? Alright, this is crazy. Nah, you don't know crazy. I sued 300 businesses last year, including a hot dog cart where I got everything but the wheels and the buns, which I got two months later in a civil case. <clears throat> Dude, I think he gets it. I know, but the words are coming out of my mouth faster than I can think. Bring it home. As I was saying, I'm feeling a little bit parched, so before I start snapping photos, I'd like to know which water fountain I'm allowed to use. Uh, that one. I mean, you pick, sir. What do you think? Uh, new haircut. Uh, new necklace. New dress. New boots. Boots. Yes! Now, they're a little more than I spend on boots. <clears throat> or rent. Oh my god. No. You're gonna miss being able to afford food. I'm sorry, they just, they just look so good. And the saleswoman was looking at me like, oh, these are way too expensive for you. Well, I mean, she has a point. Hi! Oh my god. Oh, Monica, those boots are amazing. They're mine. They're too bad, you're gonna have to return them. Return them? Shh, they can hear you. I mean, I'm not returning them, okay? I mean, I, I know they cost a lot. But I'm gonna wear them all the time, you'll see. Besides, have you ever had something so beautiful that everyone wanted it? I mean, I have you. That's right. I'm getting boots. You're gonna back me on this, right? Go all the way. You know what? You're a good friend. Even if you killed somebody, I wouldn't turn you in. <laughs> so that's so. Hey Kramer, if I killed somebody, would you turn me in? Um, definitely. <laughs> You're kidding. No, no, I would turn you in. You would turn me in? Oh, pfft. what do you even think about it? <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. You're supposed to be a good friend of mine. Well, what kind of person goes around killing people? Well, I'm sure I had a good reason. Well, if you can kill this person, who's to say I wouldn't be next? But you knew me! I thought I did. I got some, uh, got, uh, got some green paint here and I found a snake. A gr great? Why? <laughs> you know, snakes and 
I don't really mem remember where we landed on St. Patty's, but I, I, I do remember there being snakes involved. And then the paints for the beer. Well, great catch there. Love the snake. But why not just use food coloring for the beer? <clears throat> because beer's not a food. When was the last time you ate a beer? When was the last time you drank paint? Have you been drinking paint? No. Let me see your tongue. Oh my god, dude, that is disgusting. It's not that bad. You can't drink paint. <clears throat> Look, I get it though, man, and it's all right. I, it's it's not all right. It's cool. It's not cool. You can't drink pain. It is. It is what it is. Right. Oh my god, this is frustrating. Look, I'm gonna go downstairs and check my glue traps because I'm gonna go check if there's a leprechaun down there. Wait, what? No leprechaun. You're not chasing a leprechaun. <clears throat> I get it. All right. I, I get it. I hear you. I hear you. So you're gonna back me on this, right? Oh, all the way. You know what? You're a good friend. Even if you killed somebody, I wouldn't tell. <laughs> Is that so? Hey, Kramer. If I killed somebody, would you turn me in? Um, definitely. No, no, I would turn you in. You would turn me in? <sighs> Wouldn't even think about it. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. You're supposed to be a good friend of mine. Well, what kind of person like you are going around killing people? <laughs> I'm sure I had a good reason. Well, if you kill this person, who's to say I wouldn't be next? What you doing? <laughs> I thought I would. What, you didn't do anything wrong? I said I didn't technically. Well, let's put aside the fact that you accidentally picked up my grandmother's ring and you accidentally proposed to Rachel. Can I just stop you right there for a second? When people do this, I don't really know what that means. <sighs> you were saying? And I can even understand the fact that you couldn't tell Rachel, but why couldn't you tell me, huh? You had all day to and you didn't. I know. I should have. I I'm sorry. I'm not using it right, Joe. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. Come on, Bob. We have to get past this. Give me the bag. No, look, I don't know what else to do. I said I'm sorry. Joey. You should scream at me, or, or curse me, or hit me. I'm not gonna hit you. Why not? You'll feel better, I'll feel better. And you know you want to, I can see it in your eyes. No, I don't. A little bit? No. A little bit? No. A little bit more? Give me the bag. No, hit me. Joey, give me the bag. Hit me. Give me the bag. Hit me. Joey, I'm not kidding. Hit me. No. Hit me. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! You ducked! I'm sorry, it was a reflex. Oh my god, this really hurts. I couldn't help it. When a fist comes at your face, you duck. Look! Ow, what is the matter with you? You should have ducked. Why don't you duck? Why don't we talk about this on the way to the hospital? Good. Good, yeah, maybe while we're there, they can check your reflexes. Hey, George. Benny. Showtime. Everything okay? Let's talk in the yard. My mom wants to smoke. Thank you. <laughs> Angie, do I look like a stupid man? What? Do I look like an idiot? Like a moron? Like a buffoon? <laughs> hey, no one's forcing you to go to Supercuts. I just got a call from the credit card company. $500 worth of party stuff? Oh no. Oh yes. George knows. George is smart. <laughs> I was trying to- Wait. George is talking. <laughs> How could you do this when we agreed not to have some huge party for Max? What happened to communication and trust and all that other crap that was in our marriage vow? <laughs> Why are you not saying anything? Does this mean I won? <laughs> the $500 worth of party stuff was all for you. I was just trying to give you the birthday party you never had as a kid, you big stupid jerk. Honey, come back. I'm not mad at you anymore. <laughs> 
So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to fix you. Manage you two on a more personal scale. A more micro form of management. Jim, what is that called? Micro gym. Boom. Yes. Jim, you're going to be the client. Dwight, you're going to have to sell to him without being aggressive, hostile, or difficult. Let's go. All right, fine. Bring. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight Shoot from the Dunham from Paper Company. Well, that's great because I need paper. Excellent, then you are in luck because we're having a limited time offer only on everything. This is my lucky day. Let's give his name. What is your name, sir? I am Bill Butlicker. Really? That's your real name? How dare you? My family built this country, by the way. Be respectful, Dwight, please. Yes, Michael. Can you hold on one second? That's my other line. No, wait, no, but... I'm yeah. On. No. I'm just on the phone with this stupid salesman. He's so dumb. I'm probably gonna keep him on the line forever and not buy anything. It's up to you to change his mind. Sorry, that was a family emergency. Oh no, what's wrong? You know what? That's private. Boundaries, Dwight, come on. I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Bullocker. As I was saying, we're having a limited time- I'm gonna have to ask you to speak a little bit louder. I'm hard of hearing. He's hard of hearing. He's an old man. Okay, let's go. As I was saying, Right now, we're having you a You gotta talk louder. Okay, our prices have never- Son, you have to talk louder. Never been- Louder, son! Butt liquor! Our prices have never been lower! What are you doing? Stop it, stop it. That's totally inappropriate. You never yell at the call. Now you listen to me, sir. The three words I would describe you as are aggressive, hostile, and definitely difficult. Give me the phone. Please, Mr. Butt liquor. Give me the phone. Please give me another chance. Give me the phone. I am irate. Mr. Butt liquor. He's irate. Give me the phone. The phone. I put you on the phone with my boss. Well, I should hope so. Who is this? This is Michael Scott, regional manager. Well, this is William M. Butlicker. Hello, Mr. Butlicker. How may we help you? Michael, I like the sound of your voice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy $1 million worth of paper products today. Yeah. See how it's done. Thank you very much, sir. I don't think you regret it. See what I did there? You are the there master. is one condition, Michael. Yes. You have to fire the salesman that treated me so terribly. Don't do it, Michael. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Ross? <laughs> Ross? Okay. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh, and you're the father, by the way, but you got that. <laughs> Can I get you some water? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Ross, there's no pressure, okay? I mean, you can be as involved as you want. I just, what happened? I don't, I don't understand. We, we, we used the condom. I know, but condoms only work 97% of the time. Well, they should put that on the box. They do. No, they don't. This should be big black letters. Ross, okay, let's just forget about the condoms. Well, we might as well have. I was really freaked out too when I found out. No, no, I'm not freaked out. I mean, dignity as a customer. Okay, let's talk later. No, 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 let's talk now. In fact, I want to call the president of the condom company. Maybe I should. Okay. Yes, I'll press one. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Okay, where's the coke? There's no coke. Why would you call anyone into a bathroom if you don't have coke? That's rude. Listen, I was just gonna talk to you. Oh, then I'm definitely gonna need coke. Okay, look, you're not sleeping with him. No, of course not. I mean, I just think there's something special about tonight. I mean, we talked and we laughed. What is this previously on Caroline? Hey, if you guys are doing blowing here without me, I'm gonna be so pissed. Fish. No, Caroline wants to have sex with Nicholas. Even after that tango? 
Listen, I'm thinking now I just want to sleep over and not have sex with him. Is that where he puts it in but doesn't move it around? That's what I do to you when you're passed out. That's what I do to you when you're passed out. Look, nothing's going in anywhere, okay? I just want to get to know him better. You really think you could sleep in his bed with him and not use his penis as a body pillow? Of course I can. I did it with, like, every guy on the Upper East Side. That's why they call me the East Side Snuggler. And trust me, his wife begged me to sleep with him, and I'm still not gonna. Well, isn't the whole reason you dragged us in here is because you don't feel comfortable being alone with him? What is this previously on Caroline? Look, I get it, okay? And if you two really don't think I'm not capable of not sleeping with him, then stick around for a bit and see for yourself. Fine, but we are not staying all night. everyone would be hot you know it's not just my foot it's from running into the stop sign because you wouldn't give me back my okay fine I'll give you back your man goggles here I just thought we might run into some cute boys on the way home but it's probably best we didn't that's a pretty angry lip you got there really uh-huh oh wow does everybody get this red well you had quite a bit of growth I was gonna have that lady take a crack at your arms but she already sweat through her apron Oh my gosh, I already have a hundred likes on my new photo and my new nails. Um, FYI, I'm in the background screaming mid-wax. 400 people like this photo. I was not one of them. My art teacher made a pithy blue period comment, and my top prom prospects suddenly found a girlfriend in Canada. <laughs> you think I can get my sneakers back? Well, I already threw them away with the rest of your clothes while you were in the changing room. I thought about saving them for the housekeeper, but I couldn't remember if she had a son. Look, I've tried really hard to put up with a lot today, okay? And what's going on? Huh? I just had so much fun with you. We don't do this enough. I just wish there was something you could teach me. Uh-huh. Wait, what about your judo stuff? Yeah, but you're not interested in that. Uh, no, I am. Come on, karate chop me or something. That's not how you... Okay, all right, just one simple move, okay? Okay, this won't wrinkle my top, will it? are the hardest but then the day comes and that's every bit as hard as the night and then the night comes again the days and nights are hard I get it look I'm Rachel I have to start getting ready I'm getting married today I know at dusk it's such a hard time for me I'm gonna go put my makeup on we have to be at the hotel in an hour okay but wait what? let's go to lunch I can't go to lunch right Oh, good God, I've fallen down. <laughs> okay, all right. Honey, listen. When I tell you what I'm about to tell you, I need you to remember that we are all here for you and that we love you. Okay, you're, you're really freaking me out. We can't find Chandler. It's the best. Found the best. I mean, we're going to have to keep an eye on it, you know, to make sure we don't lose it again. Oh, Oh, wow. Okay, don't scare me like that, okay? I mean, for a minute there, I was like, oh my god, the worst has happened. ever. Um, I know I'm the minority here, but I don't really like Christopher Nolan Batman movies. I don't, really. I think they're overrated. Okay. Well, that's why I said in some opinion. That's why I prefaced it by saying I know I'm the minority. Awkward. <laughs> no. No, not really. Not awkward. Not at least until you said awkward. Now it's awkward because of what you said. Anyway. Anyway what? Anyway what? Really, because when you say anyway... Now you have to follow that up with an actual contribution to the conversation we're having. Yikes. No, look at me. There's no yikes. 
And the reason why there's no yikes is because this is a very non-scary situation. This is a very low-stakes situation. All right. Don't look at either of those girls. Look at me, all right? Because when you say, all right, then you have to follow that up with something. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Don't do it. Tell us how you really feel. I'll tell you how I really feel. Okay, listen. I really feel like you're an asshole who has nothing interesting to say. So what? No, don't do it. Don't turn your head right here. Turn your head. Tell me an opinion you have about something. Just share an opinion. One opinion, that's all I'm asking. Share an opinion. Share an opinion. Uh, I don't have an opinion and that's why I just like everything that everyone else likes in pop culture. Thank <laughs> you.